Hey guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, I've got a DVD review, and uh, this time around I'm reviewing the Robert Downey Jr. version of Sherlock Holmes. Personally, I am a fan of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I've recently brought the uh, Sherlock DVDs that the BBC did, uh, the series with Benedict Cumberbatch, or whatever his name is. I've, uh, I'm a fan of Elementary, which is the American version. And uh, years ago, uh, Guy Ritchie did uh, Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law. And uh, I brought the box set of these two and I thought I'd watch the first film the other night. And uh, in all honesty, it was pretty fun. It's, it's a good film worth watching. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. seems to be that sort of cocky and arrogant and uh, very confident in himself. Womanising, I would say billionaire, philanthropist sort of character but he almost brings that to uh, Sherlock Holmes he's cocky he's arrogant he's clever he's smart he's witty he seems to play almost an Iron Man Tony Stark character as an Englishman in uh, very early England with uh, Sherlock Holmes but he does it so good um, I think it's the cockiness and the arrogance that portrays Sherlock Holmes as a good character because he's clever. I wouldn't say he pushes the boundaries but he seems to get the job done. It's like at one point which is pretty clever, well even at the start of the film, uh, he sees a man or a guard at the very start of the film and he already figures out how to knock him out and well render him unconscious really from glancing at him for about five seconds and it's like yeah that's pretty good and pretty clever. I mean not the average human manages to uh, see someone for five seconds and think, oh yeah, I could uh, read him really well and knock him out within five seconds. And uh, he does that when he's having a fight as well. He's a fight club sort of Sherlock Holmes style. He's getting battered and beaten around the ring, or the little dirt circle. And he's slapping this guy on the back of the head and uh, he gets distracted by... Irene Adler. And once he gets distracted, it takes him about five seconds to beat this guy who's twice the size of him. But I suppose that's the fun and the arrogance of the portrayal of uh, Sherlock Holmes. But Robert Downey Jr. does a great job. Jude Law as uh, Dr. Watson plays a really good character. They have great on screen chemistry. I'm a fan of Robert Downey Jr. mainly because of what he did with Iron Man and how good he was with that. But. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of Sherlock Holmes. Uh, anything that's done with that modern day sort of spin on it, uh, then yeah, I enjoy it. Robert Downey Jr., great Sherlock Holmes. Jude Law, great supporting character. Uh, there is a sequel, which I've got, and I do want to watch. Uh, but yeah, if you like Robert Downey Jr., and if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes, then personally I think this is a pretty cool film. Yeah, like I say, I uh, hope you enjoy uh, my review, of, or pretty short review of uh, Sherlock Holmes. If you like Robert Downey Jr., then this is one for you. Uh, Jude Law as well. He uh, plays Dr. Watson, so he's psychic. And uh, he plays a good supporting actor. Uh, they have great on-screen chemistry. Robert Downey Jr., obviously, like I say, he plays Sherlock Holmes. He's a clever character. He portrays it really well. There's action, there's chases, uh, suspense, uh, crime solving along the way. So if you enjoy those sort of things, definitely one for you. And especially if you're a Robert Downey Jr. fan. But uh, thanks for watching my review of Sherlock Holmes. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, everything WTD. Toby WTD, 20% uh, uh, off any we devoted gear. But thanks for watching, guys.